As many of you know, my nine-year-old son is the reason behind the assembly programming playlist. The whole reason I'm doing the assembly programming playlist is because my son wanted to learn how to program. And where else do you start a nine-year-old at except at the ground level in assembly? I think my son has an intuition for this kind of material, and so I decided let's let's do assembly. Anyway, this is a picture of him at his third grade show-and-tell class. Uh, showing them some assembly, doing a program for them. And this video I decided for posterity, and just because I can, it's my YouTube channel. Let's have him record his demonstration and show it to you in YouTube land. So if you're interested and you want to see a nine-year-old do some awesome assembly, uh, keep watching because uh, this actually blows me away. I was definitely not writing assembly language when I was nine years old. In fact, I don't think I was writing any programming until I was probably 22 years old. So there, here you go. Hello, I'm going to show you a simple program that adds 1 plus 2 plus 3 plus 4 plus 5. Now to start off, I'm going to do <coughs> move. In programming, we spell move M-O-V as shown here. E-A-X zero. Now E-A-X is a register. Registers are tiny components inside the CPU. There are very many of them, but the four main purpose ones are EAX, EBX, ECX, and EDX. So when I say move EAX zero, that will put a zero in EAX. Now I'm going to say move EBX one. That will move a 1 into EBX. Now don't worry about what I'm doing right here. I'll get back to this later. So now I'm going to say add EAX EBX. That will add whatever is an EBX to EAX. And now I'm going to say increment EBX. When I say increment EBX, that adds 1 to EBX because increment means, means add 1. Now I'm going to say compare EBX 5. When I say compare EBX5, I'm going to compare EBX to a 5. And if you're watching this video, then you're probably old enough to understand what that does. Now I'm going to say jump less than or equal to again. And see, now I'm referring to what goes on up here now. So when I say jump less than or equal to again, I'm referring to this again up here. Even though this again doesn't have these two little weird dots at the end. So, now I, so when I say jump less than or equal to again, then I'm saying if EBX is less than 5 or is 5, then go from this line up to this line because again is right above this line and that is my program now I'm going to show it to you in action and show you how it works now move EAX 0 pay attention to E A X which is right here you see we've got all the registers EAX, EBX, which is all of this right here. Just watch EAX. See? It was this whole tiny jumble of numbers, but now it is completely zero. Because I said move EAX zero. Now I'm going to say move EBX 1. Now you see, EBX was 0. It's usually 0, by the way. Not always. But now it is 1. Now, 
I'm going to say add EAX EBX. So pay attention to this little digit right here in EAX. See? EBX was a 1, and 1 plus 0 is 1. And also, I want you to notice this little yellow arrow. It says the next instruction that you need to do. And it was up here, and since we've done all three of these instructions, it is now down here. Now, increment EBX. Pay attention to EBX, this little digit right here. Now you see, it was a 1, and now it's a 2. So, now we're at compare EBX5. By the way, there's also something else that e compare does, but don't really pay attention to it because it takes a really long time to explain. Now, I'm going to say jump less than or equal to. So, pay attention to this little yellow arrow. See, it was on this, this line. And now, it's all the way back to this line. So now, we're back at the adding part. So, add EAX, EBX. Now you see, it was 1, and now it's 3, because 2 plus 1 equals 3. Now, increment EBX. It is also 3. Compare EBX 5. Jump less than or equal to. Now add EAX EBX. See, now it was 3 and now it's 6. Increment EBX. Compare EBX 5. Jump less than or equal to add EAX EBX. Now, pay real close attention to EAX because it's going to do something strange now. See? Instead of 10, which 6 plus 4 is 10, I'm sure you know that, instead of 10, it is a capital A. So, now this is going to take a little bit of explaining. If it was decimal, it would be 10. And decimal is like normal counting, like 0, 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9, da 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 da. But this is not decimal. The computer thinks in binary, but this isn't binary either. Binary is just 0, 1, and that's it. But instead, it, it shows this in hexadecimal. We just like hex more because one hex digit represents four binary digits, and if we showed it in binary, we would need way more room. <clears throat> so, A is 10, B is 11, C is 12, D is 13, E is 14, F is 15. But it only goes that high because including zero, that is 16 digits. And hexadecimal is like 16 digits. So now we're back to the increment part. Increment EBX. See, it was a 4, now it's a 5. Compare EBX 5, it is 5 jump less than or equal to it's not going to continue because it is also equal to and now it's back up here add EAX EBX and see EAX was an A now it's an F because 5 plus 10 equals 15 and F is 15 and A is 10 increment EBX it is now 6 it is above 5 compare EBX 5 it is more than 5 Jump less than or equal to, well, it's not equal to, and it's not less than, because it's more. And now, we're back to the return. And that is the end. <clears throat> That's the end, for now. Dun, dun, dun!